What do you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, you can't tell I'm me not, what to wear. Logan, Logan. Yeah, but, he, but if, if Mike, they're paying chill, us, chill. if they're paying one us, one fucking second, chill. If they're, oh, Logan's tight. Yo, he's tight. <laughs> okay, so we are back, and oh my God, today the levy finally broke. As competition now has turned into bad blood, family doing this in public is something I have never been a fan of, and I don't quite frankly don't understand but i'm not in their family i don't exactly know what the hell's happened here but apparently how they choose to handle it jake paul and logan were on impulsive talking about pretty much everything to do with the fights jake gets who's the better boxer and if logan's playing both sides of business and family and the real question the one we're going to break down hopefully by the end of this thing who's in the wrong jake or is it logan Normally, again, I wouldn't cover stuff like this, but it's in the public, so it's time for the breakdown. Let's go. Uh, what is your what is your your mind telling you about this uh, KSI versus uh, Tommy Fury fight? Yeah, I mean, it's not a real fight because it's an exhibition, like first and foremost. Hold on a second. <laughs> it doesn't real, count. No, it doesn't yeah, but count. it's still a real. He's not fight. doing any. So Mike starts smiling immediately, like, "Yeah, I got him going." I don't think that Mike and or Jeff or anybody else knew where this conversation would go. It's not a professional fight though. So to but me it doesn't still matter. A real fight. It doesn't matter though. It's like it's an exhibition. It's like it doesn't go on anyone's records. The stakes aren't as high because of that. I'm what? trying to give you a comparison. I'll give you one. It's, Logan Paul versus Floyd. Yeah, exactly. It's like okay. Every, no, everyone no. wins. Are they both going to win at the end? Does that is there even a winner declared? Are like, you saying cuz the stakes aren't as high because it's it's not on uh, and by the way, I, I think it is. It's there's a stipulation here. There's a reason why it's not going to go on box rec or because it's not an exhibition. But none of KSI's fights do. So to me, it's the reason it's not on box rec is because the PBA is not a recognized professional sanctioning body in the UK. And I've heard KSI this week talk about monopolization, but also the BBBFC does have a stricter basis for which they allow licenses. And part of that means that most of the influencers that fight under the PBA may not get a license under the BBBFC. So therefore to run these cards does have to run under a sanctioning body that will allow their fighters to fight. I don't like to be in the same conversation because what I'm doing is like real. It's fair, that's fair. Well, here's where you do come back in the conversation. He has, he has basically said or has said that if he beats Tommy, he can retire as the king of this bot of this level of boxing because he took down someone that you haven't or couldn't at the time. That's such a cop out. It's such a cop out. You, the, how many fighters in the history of the sport have beaten someone and then lost to a different guy who beat that person? He like, might not want to boom, be a boom, fighter, boom. dude. He's not. He's not. I don't think he's like. No, but but the, the but but the thing is, is that he's talked so much shit to me, and him and I have beef. Regardless of anything else, it's me and KSI that everyone wants, that he says all of these things. This is true. This is true. KSI saying that if he beats Tommy Fury, he is the king of the scene. I actually, you can't really dispute it because he beats the guy that beats the guy, right? It's And he's undefeated at that point. That's another tick in the box. Like Jake has a loss on his record, so he's undefeated. Consensus will be that KSI has shown the level to be the best. Does that mean that he necessarily is the best? That is what I think Jake's trying to argue because styles make fights and this guy may beat this guy but can't beat this guy because the styles are different and the matchups are different. But without a shadow of a doubt, if KSI beats Tommy Fury, he has to be placed at number one. And if he retires after beating Tommy just to troll with Jake, that's just the way it's going to end up. Jake can continue to fight in that conversation should Jake continue to win against higher level opponent will change over time. Like if he retires and Jake goes on a winning streak of five or six and fights guys the same level Tommy Fury or better and wins those fights, then you can go, yeah, Jake is number one again. He's continued to fight. He's been more active. Me and him have to settle our beef and that's man versus man. He can go do whatever he wants. Sure. But if you're going to run away from me and hide behind a, oh, I did this to this person and you did that to that person and you're not this, that's a bitch fucking move. And I, and I expect nothing less from him. I expect nothing less from him. Okay, cool. You want to do whatever it is that you want to do? No problem. We can fight whenever. I'm going to rematch Tommy Fury whenever. But also, none of this is my goal. My goal is to become world champion and fight the best of the best and to continue boxing two, three, four years from now when a lot of these guys are going to stop. 
Th th that shit is cool. I lost. Yeah, I'll deal with that as a man. I'm, I'm upset. I'm going to get better from it. But at the end of the day, where my end of the road goal, goal goes it has nothing to do with KSI. See, that's the, the thing that's tough is like they're both on different trajectories. Like KSI's sole mission was to beat Jake. That was the sole mission. And I guess that changed because Tommy beat Jake and Tommy then inserted himself into this whole thing, which is fucking ridiculous to me. But that happened. So him beating Tommy in his mind indirectly means he beat Jake. And it doesn't necessarily work that way, but I get where JJ's coming from. It does put him at the top. I would still want to see Jake and KSI regardless. I still think that fight needs to happen, but but if he retires after, I don't see that as KSI running from Jake. I just see it as him sticking it to Jake, which is what they've done to each other over the last four years. I don't want to put the energy into the air, but like Tommy Fury's on my fucking radar. I have him in my scopes. I wanted it when Jake was fighting him. It's here we go. <laughs> here we go. And I'm going to be back in the conversation, which I'm fucking stoked about. Yeah, dude. October 14th, I'm fighting Dylan Dan. You just jump him, too, yeah. at that point. The both of you just... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll do something. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish him off first. I got to handle that business first. We'll see, bro, because uh, you definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight from me. W. Jake for standing up for himself there, man. I told you guys about that. I told you guys. And we're going to get to what Logan just said about sniping the Jake, the Nate fight from him. I don't even think he understands. Like, it's crazy that... I don't even know what the fuck he's talking about, but the fact that Logan is doing this thing where he's like, I don't know, dude, I might have to fight Tommy first. Why? You realize that Jake wants that rematch. And instead of going, you know what? That's his rematch. That's his business to get done. Like Jake sat by and watched you get your business done with KSI, even though he wanted the KSI fight after he fought Dedge. It's a little odd to watch Logan swoop his way in and go, now it's my turn. I'll fight him. When you had no business with Tommy Fury in the first place, the only business you've had with Tommy Fury is the fact that you want to fight Tommy Fury. That right there should either tell you Logan doesn't care that this is kind of Jake's arc and he's just impeding on everything and making it about himself and being selfish, or he doesn't understand the dynamic of what's at play here and he thinks he can just pop up and do what he wants, which again is disrespectful to Jake. I, I just, I don't know how people don't see that. You definitely sniped the Nate Diaz fight for me. And I've been so lenient in giving you your <laughs> opponents, and I think it's but my... it's not wait it's not your option to give me my opponents. Yeah, what is, I don't even know what that means. Logan's been so lenient about giving Jake opponents. Like, who is Logan to sit there and go, "Oh, you can"? He, I'll just give you that opponent, as if he is just granted to get these fights because he's Logan. When he doesn't fight and hasn't in years, he just can walk back into the sport and go, "Yeah, um, I know Jake. You've, you've been saying you want the Nate fight, and you guys are negotiating all that." I'm just going to take that fight now. They were never Logan's opponents. What the fuck are we talking about here? Stupid, man. I, I gifted you opponents. What are you talking about? Up on his high horse, like, yes, yes I, am I am the, the purveyor, purveyor of all matchmaking due to the ball brothers. You, you have, have to go, go through me first. first and if I decide, decide to give, give Jake, Jake an, an opponent, opponent I'll, I'll just generously hand it over. Him. Shut the fuck up. You, you haven't fought anyone. You don't fight. You don't fight real fights. It's just not your option to give me my opponents. True. You're not even a fighter. Like, you do exhibitions and lost, like, four years ago. Damn. I, I, I was going to go off on him, but... Okay, Jake, hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is what I said. Here we go. I knew... And I'm not trying to laugh, because this is not the place for this. This is not... Like, they should not be doing this in public. This should have been sorted out off camera. But here we go, man. Here we go. So it's not your option to like give me my fights. It, that me and Nate Diaz. Look how uncomfortable Jeff Wittick is, by the way. I haven't said one thing about Jeff Wittick. Have been talking about that for years. And then you popped up and were like, no, now it's my turn. I want that See? fight. And then start talking shit and then try to like get the fight at in Saudi Arabia, like on the microphone and like trying to like jump in on all of these things. See what I'm saying? Like Logan just popped up. After Jake had made it publicly known that was the next fight he wanted, and then like tried to weasel his way into his brother's kind of arc, his path here. And you can sit there and go, well, they're individuals. Logan can do what he wants. They're in the same lane. There's more people than Nate Diaz and fucking Tommy Fury to fight. I think I'm better than you. And I think Nate chose you for a reason. And I think everyone knows that. Even what do you in, mean? Even in, even in here. But what have you done to prove that you're better than me? Well, I don't know. Went toe to toe eight rounds with the greatest boxer of all time. What do you think happens if you fight Floyd Mayweather? I would knock him out. Bro. What? <laughs> First off, 
No, I don't think Jake knocks out Floyd. I don't think that's the case. I think Jake is obviously in that moment saying something to prove that he's better than Logan, but no, I don't think Jake knocks out Floyd. But secondly, Logan did not go toe-to-toe with Floyd Mayweather. That is not what happened. Do we... Did people forget what happened in that fight? Logan did well to survive that fight, and he had some moments in that fight that were more impressive than you had seen from moments in the KSI fight. He was he did well to go the entire distance, but it was not a back-and-forth, toe-to-toe matchup where both guys were on their A game and landing, and it was up in the air as to who was the better boxer that night. Are we fucking... Are you serious? He did better than a lot of people thought he would and that he frustrated Floyd by Floyd not being able to knock him out. But he absolutely did not in any way go toe-to-toe with Floyd. It makes no sense. The reason people fight Jake is because he's fought in legitimate fights. He's been the one fighting MMA fighters and putting them down. There is a little bit of a personal grudge there from the MMA community that wants to put that guy down, shut him up. And Logan just takes the fact that everyone would rather fight Jake over him is to mean they're scared of him. You, you think because you lost a fight to Floyd Mayweather that you're better than me at boxing? You said I won the fight. I In person, when I was watching it, I thought so. But then, yeah, watching it back, it's like, okay, I've had like a biased point of view, like sitting there in person. This is the first time I've heard you say that. You're yeah, switch, but because we switch, never talked about you're it. You're switching up like that? The fact that Logan's now trying to like, oh, this is manipulation on a whole nother level, bro. This is, this is crazy to me. Like, I, I hope you guys are seeing this. He's now trying to play like the, oh, you, my brother, you're switching up on me like that after you said I won the fight win? Obviously, in that moment for Jake to support his brother, say, hey, he's winning. I don't care. He's winning. All of us would do that. Jake's not using it as a crutch to poke Logan and say you're a bad boxer. Logan has said he's a better boxer than Jake, and Jake is just responding by going, based off the fact that you, you lost to Floyd? The whole internet saw you repeatedly throughout the past two years say that I won that fight. And now yeah, you're saying the I'm opposite? Because I'm rooting for you. But like, if you want to know the truth, yeah, like I'm going to ride or die for you on my shield. Yeah, 100%. And afterwards, when I saw that you lost it on TV, people in interviews would still be like, what do you think? I'm not going to be like, no, I watched it back and he, I thought he lost. No, he fucking won because you're my brother. I don't disagree. You see Logan immediately come back away from that? You see that? I, well, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. But the fact is, I went toe-to-toe -to -toe for eight. Immediately immediately switched his tone. He couldn't catch Jake in some kind of gotcha. Like, oh, you're just going to switch up on me? When Jake was like, no, bro, I'm your brother. I'm going to ride for you. Yes, of course, 100%. I'm going to say you won that in that moment because I'm your brother. I'm supposed to do that. Regardless if you got your ass with whatever. He's going to do that. I would do that for my brothers. You guys would too. And when Logan has nothing to say to that, other than, okay, yeah, that was my brother supporting me, but objectively looking at this thing, no, I didn't beat him. He goes right back to, well... Regardless, but then Jake has to explain it to him in basic nursery rhyme, kindergarten level grammar and reading comprehension. Logan then turns around and goes, no, I don't, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Bruh, you tried to disagree a second ago. Bro, you tried to say Jake switched up on you for being objective to your face about it while also trying to ride for you in the moment when everybody was shitting on you or that fight, stop hugging, Logan's hugging Floyd. There was nobody, no action. He would never get away with it. Jake was the one riding for you. I even defended Logan in this. But to act like Logan actually won that fight when his brother was just there to support, this is crazy, man. And then backed off of it. No, I, just, I, don't, I don't disagree. No. But, um, but for you no, to- no, for I, But I, I yielded, bro. And I'm, t I'm, tired of, I'm, tired of, I'm tired of not being picked because you're an easier fight. That's, again, that's crazy to me to just try to out your brother as, as an easy fight because people didn't want to fight you and they'd rather fight Jake. That is, that, whoa, is, that what you, is that what you really think in your head? I'm Jake. I think, I think you... I, I See there, again, Jake, you... Even if he's right, even if he's right, putting his little brother on blast after he's just beaten Nate Diaz and comes onto Logan's podcast to complain about something like that is an absolute joke of a move. I wanted the Tommy fight. Wait, wait, JJ but said, I, I didn't. said he wanted it. I didn't I said, take, okay, a, I didn't take a fight from you that way. So now he's even saying he yielded to KSI. Like, he, he <laughs> ego on this guy, dog. I yielded to you, Jake, and I yield to KSI. I, I'm the big dog here. You two are just, you know, you, you can have whatever ones I don't want. Yeah, I'll yield it to you. And again, KSI won't see it this way, but he's essentially saying, yeah, KSI, you are only fighting Tommy because I said you could. Wasn't necessarily yours it's whoever's it, it it's in the ethos but people motherfuckers are avoiding me 
they are avoiding me or, or picking someone else and that's a oh it's so funny look how so upset he gets about this shit. it's in the ethos but people motherfuckers are avoiding me they are <laughs> i don't think that logan sees that people don't care to fight him and this is something that nate even said publicly like he regarded jake as the real fighter between the two that jake was the one that was fighting pro fights that was fighting tough fighters like tyron woodley like anderson silva like tommy fury while logan hadn't done any of that and hadn't proved himself worthy of a fight with nate it's his own words is and, there, and, is and, there... and, and everyone everyone secretly knows why no one wants to say it because i because i have an 0-1 record and I wasn't able to knock out the best fighter of all time. You weren't able to beat Floyd. You do have an 0-1-1 record. The only reason that no one wants you is because you don't, you don't even fight. You're not fighting. You're in, you're out. You're WWE, then you're hurt. Then you're back WWE, then you're hurt again. Then maybe you're fighting, maybe you're not. They try to set up you and Dylan under the undercard of KSI, you get hurt. And granted, do I still have something to prove? Absolutely. But if for whatever reason it doesn't go in KSI's favor, the story arc, the vengeance arc of avenging my business partner and brother is right there. I think I, I think you just I think you just want to beat Tommy to to be able to say that you're better than me at boxing. Damn. Damn. I don't know if he's wrong <laughs> because that's the entire basis of why Logan says no one fights him and they all fight Jake. Why none Come of these? On. That's why I, I you're have not like one of the top ten grossing biggest fights ever. What are you talking about? Especially that's not, not true either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just don't get the. He logic. also to, to his point, he also has an active business team that is approaching these deals constantly that was that was, that was a big mistake a promotional honestly, arm yeah. a production arm that that goes up to these uh, to this person's camp and says this fight is going to go down on this day xyz yeah. and be handled in xyz for fashion well, and, and relationships you know bro like people don't like to work with your team people hate your team i could say the same thing they they hate <laughs> Did you see my bro like people don't like to work with your team people hate your team i could say the same thing <laughs> mike's like oh wait no Let's you could, out. you could, let's, but you, let's you could out. say that you could say the same thing, but the evidence doesn't show that. So it's like, let's, no, let's no. chill out. You have a fight coming up. Let's talk about it again after that fight. Let's this is we're going in circles here and it's getting, it's getting fucking I, I personal. No, no, no. I just, yeah. Mike's trying here. And I, I, again, I'll say W Mike. I agree. This should not have been on camera. This should not have been done on camera. Nikisa banned the zone from mentioning or bringing in prime to the stadium. They said I would get kicked out if I brought a prime bottle. That's fucking ridiculous, dude. Do you think I would ever ban you from promoting any of your shit at any of my events? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Wait, that's because that's because of who the partner, competing the, partner. the competing dog, partner dog. was Marcos for the texted event. Texted us four times with stipulations listed out, paragraphs. Yeah, get over it. Like, and meanwhile, <laughs> come on, me I'm your brother building a oh, business. Oh yeah, you, you're my brother who's, building a business. You love to play both sides, who's bro. Yielded What's here? the what other you side? Play both who's sides. Yielded side am I playing? You play both sides. What's and the it's other like, side I'll that I'm playing? I'll partner with all. Of so before we get into this, let let's talk about what was just said. Logan said, Nikisa banned Prime from coming into the building. By the way, Logan still wore his Prime chain, so he still found a way to promote it regardless. I I was there. He was still rocking that motherfucking prime chain, so he still promoting. But he's upset that Nikisa banned him from bringing prime into the venue when the event is sponsored by Celsius. The entirety of the event, not just a sponsor on the pay per view, not just a sponsor in the ring, a sponsor of the venue. So I don't understand why Logan is getting as upset as he is, especially when. Logan has done the same thing to Jake. Even if it wasn't on a pay-per-view level, he's also censored Jake. This is from November 6, 2022, right after Jake beat Anderson Silva in their fight. Let's take a listen. Yo, f*** you, by the way. Oh my <laughs> goodness! What is going on? Oh, f Why? F Why? Why'd you blur my logo? Oh, the better logo? Mm -hmm. You. I knew you were going to ask this. You blurred his Actually, logo? Actually, no, I didn't. I figured you'd understand. You know why I blurred it. You know damn well why I blurred it. Why'd you blur it, Logan? Don't, don't, bro, don't give me this. Bro. You know damn well why I blurred your logo on Johnny's parachute. I don't know why. Johnny DeJulius, who's right there, base jumped yesterday before Jake's fight. His parachute, when he opened it, has a giant better logo on it. He's 
So Jake, sponsored by Better. His Better logo on the thing, on the parachute, whatever. And in some way, Logan's got some content. I'm assuming it's impulsive. That filmed this. And apparently, blurred out Jake's Better logo. So Logan essentially censoring on Jake's own fight card some video that is taken of Jake's fight card and apparently the things around it, including Jake's company, because, well, he's got a competing sponsor. He's a better ambassador, a better athlete. B-E-T-R, Jake's uh, uh, gambling app. Bro, well, I'm it's also a sports media company. So it's it doubles. It doubles. It's Brother, not just sports betting. I love you to death. But I'm a barstool yeah, ambassador. I know, I know. I'm a barstool yeah. ambassador for the barstool sports. I know, sports I know, books. I know. I know. I'm just kidding. I didn't mean. To, I didn't mean to start this. this I, is, I, I just I've been on the show for a like, minute. This is why I it is better. It just Jesus, sucks. Jesus, bro. Jesus. I hope. I hope button, 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 button. No, no. I hope your deal runs out soon with them. So again, Jake says he's joking about it. Obviously, didn't bar Logan from talking about barstool when he was coming into Jake's fights or how to bet or any of that stuff. But Logan did the same thing to Jake. Logan blurs out the better app and then has the gall to come over here and go, but bro, we're brothers. We're brothers. How could you do it? We're, I'm just trying to build a business. Knowing damn well he's in direct contradiction of the actual drink sponsor that's there. The What's here. the well, other you side play of both sides. Who's side am I playing? You play both sides. What's and it's the like, other side that I'm playing? I'll partner with all of your enemies. Like, I have... Bro, my have life is all, my life. Your life is your life. If you want to create... See, you love to play both... You love to play both sides. You I'm explaining my sides. rationality for one and, and, and the it other. caused issues. I can 100%. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Hold on. It was in our last event when you when we had other betting partners and drink partners and you walked out with it with the, the betting and the drinks. Is it so it caused to issues. wear what I'm wearing? It caused. Oh, issues. my God. This is crazy. Hold on. So, Jake, I talked to Jake about this when I was in Puerto Rico. I asked him how he felt about when this is his big moment. He's about to fight Tommy Fury. I think Celsius supported that and was a sponsor of that event as well. Logan, as Jake walks out, Jake comes up to him as like part of the walkout. And here's Logan sitting there with his box of prime, handing them out to the crowd as he's walking Jake down for the biggest moment of his life at that point. Again, sure, it's a great business move, but is it a great family move to make yourself the center of attention? Contradicting the sponsor of the event just to make sure you hand a couple more bottles of prime out while your brother's about to go fight when you when we had other betting partners and drink partners and you walked out with it with the, the betting and the drinks is it so it caused to issues. wear what i'm wearing it caused come issues. on it's not a you can't tell me what to wear is it illegal to wear what i'm wearing what do you, you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, you can't I, tell I'm me not what to wear. Logan, Logan. Yeah, but, but if, bro, if they're paying chill, us, chill. if they're paying one us, one fucking second, chill. If they're, oh, Logan's tight. Yo, he's tight. <laughs> Look at him. You can't tell me what to wear. And Logan, again, he's got big geriatric Mike trying to calm him down and make him think rationally here. He turns the mic again and lays the law down. Son, you want to remain on impulsive? You better chill. You can't tell me what to wear. What do you, you mean? Well, what do you mean? Well, you can't I, tell I'm me not what to wear. Logan, Logan. Yeah, but, he, but if, bro, if, Mike, they're chill, us, chill. if they're paying us, if they're paying us, one fucking second, chill. If they're no. <laughs> That's how you know he's tight. Because again, Jake's not a wordsmith. Like Jake's arguments here are just basically simple. You don't wear an opposing brand on purpose, or you don't bring a number one competitor brand on purpose to put and in intentionally sabotage your brother's sponsorship or the deal he has just to get one up or just to get a couple more eyes, just to get a couple more bucks. And then Logan, the guy that just said two seconds ago, we're our own individuals. We can do our business separately. But when it comes to Jake doing that and Logan can't get a piece, and he can't get that little leech, then it's a problem. Then he wants to be brother. What do you, brothers, how come you do it? Misfits card, KSI's event, promoted the fuck out of your fight against Nate Diaz. The zone was not allowed to promote the prime card. That's ridiculous. But Logan here, I will say, as, as someone in the influencer boxing scene, I didn't think it was right that they couldn't promote that. Like, like if the zone was person for it and Jake's team said, no, we don't want that on there, it's business. But I personally didn't like that, or I don't like that. Who's, who's, whose ask was that? It was Nikisa's, dude. He, he's, Nikisa's on your team. He's not on Team Paul. He's on Team Jake. And we're a family. And he knows that. 
And so, yeah, bro, he doesn't get along with everyone either. But why, why, but by the way, though, Nikisa should be on Team Jake and not Team Paul. Nikisa doesn't represent Logan. And again, Logan is the guy here. And I know I'm pausing a lot, guys. I'm sorry. But Logan is the guy here saying that they can do their business separately. Like, they can be their own individuals. Nikisa's responsibility is to manage Jake, not Logan. And sure, it's an act of good faith to, to reach across the, the aisle, just like Misfits did for, for uh, MVP. It's an act of good faith. But Logan expecting that or being like, oh, we're a family. And again, using that brother tie when, when it's convenient is another way of Jim manipulating Jake. Like, Team Paul, we're brothers. When it's convenient for Logan. Why would I want to promote his event? It's KSI's event. Because I'm on it. I'm on the other yeah, card. Yeah, but they could, they could promote you versus Dylan, but you guys weren't even announced yet. But I'm on the card. We announced that. Yeah, but this is the thing is like, it's like all it, like you understand why, but then like you just don't want to accept the reality. No, the reality is the tables were turned. The Misfits event promoted your fight against Nate Diaz and you refused to promote KSI's fight. Wait, but, against, but if against, they want to, if, if, the, if the zone is on, if Misfits is on the zone and they promote our event that has like, okay, cool. But our fight is on the zone too. And by the way, that's, that's super fucking whack of the zone as well. It's not just you guys. I think it's, I think it's lame that they yielded to whose ever request that was no because it, yeah we're it's our event we're, we're in control of what goes on there of course but i just think it's lame it's and, and also i'm not gonna i'm not gonna promote their their event what the fuck why would i do that that's but, stupid because they fuck. did it to you and it yeah all because helps. worse because i don't know why the fuck they would do that either because they're not good at business they don't have that out in their fucking contract clause fucking idiots <laughs> that's their fucking problem see i don't like that i don't i don't <laughs> jake's going off a little bit i don't like that Again, no one's forcing Jake to promote Misfits, but no one was forcing Misfits to promote Jake and Nate, I don't think. So I would have liked to see an act of good faith there from Jake to do the same, but at the end of the day, it is up to him. And you can think it's lame, but that at the end of the day is business. I think Jake sees it as promoting KSI versus him promoting Logan, but regardless, I still think, yes, he should have promoted the Misfits thing. As far as building the influencer scene, I just don't know if Jake cares particularly about do I, I care about it so i will say yeah i wish they did that but i don't know if jake even cares about that what do you care more about going to my event or having a prime bottle in your hand i care that it was such a big deal for your team that i'm trying to build a multi-billion dollar business and your team who i see every single day at whose event an issue with it at whose event your event exactly my event i'm your brother yeah exactly so respect what's going on at my event and i did see how logan and i did yeah, you did, but you're now, again, after the fact, complaining about it nonstop. Okay. I thought it was ridiculous. Okay, but th that's just the name of the game. It's business. And you have a prime card coming up. If he walked in with a Celsius headband to it, you probably would say that's unacceptable. I don't give a fuck. You're getting paid millions of dollars by, by Celsius. Yeah, they're our competitor, but, like, dude, come on. You just, not even six months ago, blurred out one of Jake's better sponsorships on his own card in a video you did because you were sponsored by Barstool. So you clearly did at that point give a fuck because you had a competing brand. If Jake showed up and started handing out Celsius at the prime event, that wouldn't be a problem? Yeah, I'm calling bullshit. We're all, but, we're but all if you, doing but, something but, here. But, I don't, I, dude, I... But if you request it, if it's different because I'm not in control. Who signed it, the contract? And if they did, was there a contract that said, was I in the, the contract that was signed I don't with know. Celsius in the zone? Because that's fucked know. up. You can't no. sign it on behalf of a third party. No, and no, the, no. Way, the, the way that we got texts from Marcos sure sounded like someone signed a contract that said, Logan Ball, if he shall come to this event, will not have Prime. You can't do that. You can't tell me what to wear. You can't tell me I'm going to be escorted out of the venue if I bring a certain thing. They can do that. 100% they can do that. I mean, I don't know about the escorted out of the event thing, but they can say, hey, don't bring these things into event. These things are prohibited from the event. And again, they can even say these people are prohibited from the event. 100%. Technically, they can. Uh, technically, they can, yeah. <laughs> but I just, found it, I just found it crazy. This was, I would call it a master class, but it felt like a kindergarten class, a manipulation from Logan Paul and the people that got fooled online from a clip and thought that in some way this was somehow Jake being a terrible brother to Logan. I, I urge you to watch this thing again. And if you can't see it, I, I maybe I, I don't know what to tell you, but this was Logan Paul flat out showing everyone on this video that when it's convenient for him, like Jake said, 
He will be in Jake's corner, and he will ride or die for Jake. At the end of the end of the end of the day, yeah, I'm sure he will. But he also will put business for himself first, and that's fine. But you can't sit there and act as if you don't, or you can't sit there and say you're balanced and then also try to play the brother game with Jake when it's convenient. And I have a feeling I'm going to be in the minority here, and most people won't agree with me, but I don't see that in any way looking good for a Logan. You guys let me know down below. Are Logan and Jake going to move past this thing? Can they be brothers once again? Is there any way to fix this kind of interweaving rivalry, frenemy, bickering, biting at each other's heels thing for Logan and Jake? I don't have those answers, but this one was a doozy. And <laughs> I guess we'll find out.